back in bank Istanbul formed in 1986 up against Volero Zurich. The team formed much, much earlier in 1973. Let's see if uh, you know, the uh, storied uh, franchise can uh, maintain its traditions. You know, both are seeking victories here. Back if Bank really needs to make a statement here as uh, they exchange a uh, service error. Maybe slight jitters. Could be, but uh, you don't expect jitters at this uh, this level. Well, as they say, they are only human. And as they start to settle down, expect the play to be stellar. So we have to remember how young some of these players are. But so Jeva finding the angle. The unguarded zone five here in the back. Watch it there once again. There was a gap, and they found it. Early advantage here for Volero. Up 2-1. Nice back set. That is gonna spell trouble for Volero if they cannot adjust. Yeah, we've been seeing uh, Milena Razic run that uh, running attack for Serbia. The starting middle for Serbia, now starting here for Bakif Bank, showing why. Good connection from uh, Aydemir Atio, the setter. They go outside, Jew. Yeah, Jew King uh, hitting the net on her follow through. I was watching the, uh, I was watching the warm-ups. A lot of them were cutting their arm swings down, probably for that uh, very reason. But it's on the center to set that ball a slight distance, giving the hitter a good follow through or space to to follow through. I go cross court, slotches. Yes, legends if kind of cut that a little too, too much. You gotta extend her arm out. Bolero's lead now up by two. Rabadzieva serving. That time, Slotches delivers. It is, it's really hard to realize that you're gonna hit over uh, Orlova. You know, six foot four middle blocker there for Bolero Zurich, but she did hit over. This so is the fast strike presented to you by PLD Home Hotel Plan 699. Ang pinakaabot kayang internet na pampamilya. Zhu. Great serve. It's an ace. Well, she's not only attacking from the front row, back row. Now, you know, she's got another bullet in her arsenal. Using all of that six foot five, six foot six frame. Back-to-back -back aces here. And Istanbul up by one. The coach of Patrick Bank uh, sending a signal here to uh, Ju. Let's see if she follows the instruction. I think uh, he said zone one. Now tied at five. Yeah, both teams are uh, kind of settling into their offense. No, no real offensive rhythm from either side, not yet. That's sent down. Slot is now starting to find her rhythm. Yeah, Slot is just uh, getting into the groove and. Uh, Akio just, uh, or Naz, as it says on her jersey, Naz Akio. Recognizing her hot hitter. They go to the outside once again, down the line. That was tipped. Yeah, Mamadova just found a bit of the hand for that uh, block touch. Rightly observing. Dominant uh, right side hitter for 
Valeria Zurich, a nice cut shot there from uh, Kimberly Hill. You know, the cut shot only really works if your shoulder stays as square to the net as possible and you have to wrist away. Adds to the deception of the uh, shot. 25 year old Neki slotches with the serve. So aggressive uh, with the blocking and interfering with the set. Can't do that. Team captain Mamadova serving. Put a lot on that one. From the back row, that gets through. The reckless just uh, carrying over what she was doing to his Amitu spring. Being hard to contain, whether front row, back row, not, doesn't really matter. That's long. And you saw it in the moment it left her hands. Now tight at eight. Yeah, but at this level of volleyball, the serve it has to be such a weapon. You gotta throw the opponents out of their system. Kimberly Hill started off this match with a serve gone awry. That one was good. Excellent dig. And to the outside chance once again. Goes back to back to go into the offensive. That's out. Just running out of real estate. Kimberly Hill uh, trying to be a little bit uh, too surgical there. Trying to clip that sideline. Like you said, just run out of space. For Luca, Akindra Dewa with the serve. He really not had a chance to mention her name, but look at you once again. I mean, to create the angle just from so high up there, that's a lot of talent, a lot of technical uh, refinement on that swing. Was a fast five presented to you by PLD New Homo Terra Plan 699. I've been able internet na pampa milia. Nice serve from Kubra. Slot is a little bit too late. It has been a nip and tuck affair from the very beginning. Jew blocked. They go right back to her. Trying to find a hole. Chance now for Valero. A nice, uh, nice stance here from the Libre of uh, Black Bank. Bank. At that time, the block was just too good. Milena loves to showcase her stuff. Watch it here once again. I mean, look at the blocking tandem of uh, Zhu and uh, Milena. That's what, about 13 feet of, uh, la of lady there, of ladies. Good play, Doug. Slot just gets it to the middle. Back to back, and Zhu will score. Well, uh, Zhu just showing why she's a gold medalist at the Olympics, MVP of the Olympic Games. So the fast break presented to you by PLD to Home Hotel Plan 699. Chance once again to go to the offensive. Quick play. Doug. Both these teams with just such potent offenses. Naz, surprised there, the ball was coming her way. You just don't expect that kind of a angle coming from the right side. Rabadzieva now serving for Valera Zurich. We're tied at 11. Just a little bit off. No, they say it cuts the line. 
Rapazieva with an ace. Both teams showing the importance of having aggressive uh, serves. Got to throw the other team out of whack. Back-to-back -back aces here for Rapazieva. I mean, the bulk of the serves have been going to Kimberly Hill. That's the first uh, pass she shank. Even in transition, she's been passing the ball pretty solid. Penny, for your thoughts. Much better pass from back to back, but again, really it was there. The Red Luka getting some revenge from the earlier blast. Able to take that ball straight down. Back in bank. We'll sue for time here. here in set number one. Tabadzeva with another serve. Let's get the live free ball coming up though. It's gonna go outside the point for back in bank. Back in back, just trying to look for a confirmation of that previous call. They were complaining about a yeah. double. Yeah, because Popovich, uh, her chicken wing, it looked like it slid up. So, but in the opinion of the first referee, it did not. Because it was one fluid motion, maybe it's a let go. It's still a judgment call. That's why he's the first referee and we're not. Justin gets that one. They go on the outside. Milena just loves to do that. Well, Milena Razik showing why she's one of the best medals. Silver medalist at the uh, Rio Olympic. Beautiful hand placements. Nice move there from Kimberly. Quickly getting up there. And now it's going to be a timeout for Valero after yielding three straight points. They want to talk things over. Coach Zoran Terzic, not a happy man. They built a comfortable three-point lead just to lose it in a blink of an eye. Okay, let's see if uh, Valero Zurich can pass the ball and run an offense and stop the bleeding. Gonna fall in and back in bank has taken four straight points. Chinese star Zhu Ting. They send that long. That's gonna stop the bleeding somewhat. We're tied at 15. There's going to be a challenge here. 
back it back. Fix. That clipped the line somehow. Well, it goes to show you the what the premium is uh, getting a point here. Those points are so hard to come by, you know, a lot of effort involved. I mean, well, a lot of coaches that are watching are probably saying, hey, it's only 15 all. Why, why waste the challenge? But you know what? Points are at a premium here. That was a poor challenge, though. Easily set down there by the captain. And they quickly retake the lead. Poor reception. Kimberly, though, makes the adjustment. Yeah, turning, nice things up here. Turning garbage into gold is Kimberly Hill. Just took a good swing at it. For all you outside hitters out there, when, when in doubt, just live and die swinging. Milena. Good serve. That's a great pass there from Bolero. Three ball coming up. They've not gone to Akinradewa yet. So far, I guess they feel they don't need to. Yeah, right. Look, uh, going high hands off Kimberly Hill, sending that ball to where nobody could get to it. We gotta acknowledge uh, Milena Rasik with a right, really good dig there earlier. Combination play, snuffed out. Here comes Bolero. But that attack is likewise stymied. Yeah, the big uh, middle blocker there, Kubra Ackman, also from the Turkish national team. Loneki Slot is serving. We're tied at 17. Goes over from the back row. Nice dig. That's not going to go over the four touches. That transition game of Baki Bank uh, just outlasting Bolero Zurich's uh, defense. Bolero Zurich not able to throw one more ball back. from Slotches. Nice up there from Jism. Why did he attack there? It's back in back. Bolero caught napping that time. And campfire defense there in the back row. And the Kimberly Hill already had her hands stuck in the air for a good uh, second. Defense, slow to react. Yeah, Mamadova goes out for Mariana Costa, number 12. Are we gonna change it up a little bit? Give the captain a rest. We've actually not seen the captain. Oh, back and back. It goes there. They always like bringing her off the bench. Critical situations. I mean, you know, she does come off the bench, but it's not like you lose any firepower. Quite a prolific hitter in her own right. That just sent down easily. Beautiful place set because the set went toward the antenna and opened up the line for uh, Kubra uh, Atman. Well, the fast bike presented to you by BLDD Homo Terra Plan 699. I'm Abut Kaying Internet, the Pump Familia. Two point lead now opened up by Istanbul. So 
Popovich with a nice up there for Valero Zurich, but they send a free ball back. Zu, Doug, that comes back. Great throw defense by Bolero. That gets through. Slotches with a dig. A little miscue on the offense there. Akinra Dewo, finally they say. Now, Bolero Zurich with a little better uh, transition offense here. Can't take anything away from the defenses of both teams. Result of fast fight presented by PLDD Homo Terra Plan 699. Ang pinakabukaing internet na pampamilya. 19 serving 20. On the back row. Slots just slow down. That's in. Looks turned to uh, turn garbage into gold. Busted play. They put it up there, and the, the prolific uh, right side hitter for Valer Zurich put that ball away on the end line. We're tied at 20. This is now the business end of set number one. What an attack! Ackman has really come up with some stellar points here in set number one. Well, the most important part of that point is he stayed in tempo. So, you know, uh, Akio or uh, Naz was able to find her, and they've been doing that since the Olympics. So, no, uh, no surprise. That's going to hurt their cause. Bolero will say thank you very much. Absolutely, the three points, you know, I mean, Sometimes they magnify the susceptibility to make more errors, and hopefully uh, back if back and just uh, get one pass and one kill, stop the bleeding. Not a good pass. But you make the adjustment. I mean, passing really is, I mean, it's nice that you don't have to make the perfect pass because you have, you know who on the outside. You have uh, Zhu Ting. Look how high up she goes and contacts the ball. But, I mean, those aren't small blockers she's going up against, but she goes high hands. Smart hitting. The play works for Valero Zuri. We're tied once again, this time at 22. Arlova in perfect tempo there, set right on the money. Madova now back. Look at that front line for Valero Zurich. It's about 20 feet of uh, women there. They had their, all their heights together. Net court. Fortunate uh, break here for Valero Zurich, but hey, they'll take it. Yes, they will. The timeout is going to be called here by Vakit Bank. It's a critical stage for both these squads. with the serve, two points away from back set number one. Rabadzieva serving once again. On the outside, the defense of Valero was there, and that's gonna bring us to set point. Yeah, kind of a off rhythm here for the offense of uh, Baki Bang. That was a, a really a C set, almost like a big quick uh, 31 set. Another good serve. Turns out to be an ace. And Bolero Zurich takes set number one, 5 3 at 25 22. Right, uh, just better execution inside of Bolero Zurich. 
They win it. Take a look at the action of set number one, which was taken by Mamadova and company. That's right, Valer Zurich uh, actually outlasting uh, the onslaught of uh, Bakif Bang. Bakif Bang unable to sustain that assault through the uh, meat and potatoes part of the set. Right, look, uh, doing her damage, not in that point, but uh, making a statement, as did uh, most of uh, Valer Zurich's uh, players. See, uh, Kubra Atman. We have Sludges there. And Rabadjeva did some really good serving. Especially that uh, lucky net court. It's better execution all around for the team of uh, Valer Zurich. Let's see what the numbers show us here. I mean, the unforced error is the one that sticks out to me. I mean, we have two more blocks, but the unforced error has four more errors, has four free points. Four aces of Bakif Bak negated by those four errors. So that kind of evens out. Just uh, squeaking that that set out was Valer Zurich by, you know, proverbial inches because of the better execution here of uh, Valer Zurich. Well, you and I were talking about this particular match before we went in the air, and we felt these two teams are very evenly matched really could go either way. Got a great sized crowd here at the Mall of Asia Arena as the fans continue to try to trickle in. Zhu Ting there with some fans. Definitely a fan favorite here in Manila. Or being mean, from Asia. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, I mean, I'm sure most of the people here are able to watch her during the Olympics and she really smoked the competition out there. I mean, only few uh, athletes get the honor of being called MVP of, uh, of, a, of a, an Olympic sport. So right now, technically speaking, she should be considered at the top of the totem pole. Kimberly Hill with the dink. That was snuffed out. First point goes to Bolero Zurich. Yeah, let's see, Rakluk is uh, picking up where she left off. She contacts the ball, it's just so technically sound. She contacts the ball right at the peak of her jump. High wrist snap, good follow through. No free ball induced here by Bakif Bang, see what play they run. They go to shoot from the back row. Yeah, they go, they're running uh, the 22 pipe set there in the middle. And uh, catching Bolero Zurich watching, giving uh, Zhu Ting a clear avenue of approach for her swing. Kimberly Hill getting ready to serve. Waiting for the instructions, gets it. Goes down the line. Wow. That was impressive. Well, Lesha Rackett is showing off that she's got a howitzer there in her right arm. She disappointment written all over Giovanni Gudetti's face. Up 
Or to the left. And it works. Yeah, she just uh, pushed that uh, shot down to zone one. Kimberly Hill actually got caught looking. I mean, she switched hands. You know, that should tell the defender in the back row, hey, you got to come in. Slouches just already did. She came in, and uh, Kimberly Hill needed to do her job as sweeper and protect the line. Another miscue here on the offense for uh, Vakif Ma. Giving Mamadova a perfect angle. You cannot come up with any mistakes because the other team will make you pay. That's what happened there. Bolero opening up a three-point edge. You know, unforced errors here have a tendency to really become malignant for the other team as, you know, it will really cause you problems and momentum is so important at this level. Another miscue once again. Back in back. Recovers though. Oh, good block uh, coverage there from Fabiola. She read that ball, so the new team wanted to uh, hit that ball out. She gave her uh, team another chance uh, at an attack and uh, was, successful, was successful. An early timeout going to be called here by Vakif Bank. They spell trouble. Start to use a little more of this, eh? yeah. keep the ball a little short, eh? so you can make some nice. Eh? Use a little more outside the block. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. Brianna Rabadzieva, 25 years of age, with a serve. Wow, nice Papa dig. Oh, wow, she got in the way and got in harm's way, so to speak. So what does uh, Bakit Bank do? They change the tempo of the set for Ju Ting, so the defense can plant on her on the outside. Virtually, you know, giving her a little isolation one-on-one. -on -one. And I'll put my money on Ju Ting. Yes, she will. Her confidence right now, sky high. They go on the outside once again, and Mamadova delivers. You see a little uh, volleyball intricacy there. You see Fabiola glance at the defense, see where they're going to plant, or if they're going to give a tail, or where they're going to plot. Then she made her decision to go outside to Mamadova. That's great work there from the Libero. Just to keep it alive, but a free ball coming up once again. Akindra Dewo playing dummy that time. And it works. A little confusion on the floor defense here for Vakif Bang. Ju Ting already posed to hit, but uh, the ball wasn't wasn't dug yet. It is now 7-2. Bolero with a five-point edge. Quick play works. Yeah, Razik, uh, Milena, Razik, they're just nothing fancy, just a high wrist snap going to the end line. Watch it once again. Seeing a little gap between Mamadova and Akin, Akin, Akin Radu, Akin Dadero. Whoops. Paluka saw that little gap and went through it. And uh, Akin Radero now, you know, atoning for kind of being late, finding a little gapper of her own. She was a real force in their first match against Bangkok Glass. But right now, it seems like she's allowing her teammates to do their stuff first. Alesha Reichluck there doing a lot of the damage. Fortunately, saving that uh, service long. Valero doubling up here on Istanbul. 
Zhu Ting with the serve. They go to Akina Dewa, she goes down the line and just misses. Yeah, she cuts that ball with her little uh, turn of the wrist. Coming down, cutting down the line, she can't cut it if she's going to run toward the antenna. She has to hit a little more straight. That's kept alive, Mama Dova. Doug. Zoo. Doug by Popovich. That gets through the block. Inching closer here is back with back Istanbul. Watch Slotches in action once again. Really nice set by the Libero giving her hitter a good swing at it. Mariana Costa. In. Excellent defense shown by both squads here. Free ball coming up. What can you do when Akin Radewa gets that high up in the air? You just hope that she miss hits again. But you know, the height of uh, Vakif Bank, you know, can get to where she, Akin Radewa makes contact with the ball, but unfortunately she, She's on the, she's the first option hitter, so she has to hit the ball with speed. So if you can't get up there soon enough, she's, she'll, she'll pass by you. Sir, from Mariana Costa goes long. Very quickly, Mariana Costa has become a fan favorite here in Manila. She's been swarmed for autographs and pictures all throughout the metropolis. Well, rightfully so. She, she's not just any player. You know, she does play for one. Of, she's in the world league. So <laughs> she's, she's an athlete. The lead has now been cut down to one. Akira Dewa couldn't find the angle to get it over. that close to the net. She can just hammer it from just about anywhere. Yeah, even if when she's in the front row, you know, the set needs to be maybe a good meter off the net because she, she can contact the ball so high. Give her a chance at more angle. Ace for Luca. You know, not only a prolific middle hitter, middle blocker, the attack from the service line too. Luca now with the serve. Akinade was picked up a couple of points. He's been a little bit more lethal here in the second set. Oh, nice up there from Mariana Acosta. Half that point has got to be given to Mariana. Great set also from uh, Fabiola finding uh, Olesia Reichlup just putting that ball on the money. Look at that contact of the ball. Well, the fast fight presented to you by PLD to Homo Terra Plan 699. internet na pump familia. The lead is ballooned to four once again for Valero Zurich. Chance for them to get closer. Back to back. Goes to Zhu. Still excellent floor defense for uh, Bolero Zurich. Just unable to pop that ball up, but uh, Mariana Costa was there. 
Old Fast Bike presented to you by PLDT Home Hotel, Plan 699, a pinakabot ka ang internet na pang pamilya. Not taking away, take anything away from the brilliant attack from Zhu Ting. That goes long. More comfortable two-point edge here, enjoyed by Bolero. Both teams with the, or I should say Valer Zurich with that tall uh, front row there. Slotches, double clutched and failed. Yeah, there's, there's still that, uh, there's some rhythm issues here with the, the offense of Vakif Man. Chance again here. That's a poor set. Zhu goes cross court with success. Beautiful cut shot there from Zhu Ting coming out of the back row. That's a 22 set. Almost like a second option tempo. Was the fast strike presented to you by PLDD Home Altera, Plan 699. Up in the Abu Internet, the Pump Familia. Side once again, that's long. Zhu asking for a touch. Will they challenge? Yes, they will. You see the importance of uh, the challenge because if the challenge is won, then you have your momentum staying on your side. If the challenge, challenge is lost, you still kind of stop the momentum that the other team might build on. That's an excellent challenge there. They win it. It's in. Courtesy of the Hawkeye system we're using here. Yeah, and, you know, it's a welcome uh, addition because the ball is traveling at such speed at this level of volleyball. It, it is sometimes hard with the naked eye to catch. Good pass there from Mariana Acosta. Aaron Seth. That goes outside. Bolero now starting to hear some footsteps. Dora Terzic wants to talk things over with his girls. With some. Okay. I cannot say stupid, but unordinary mistake. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We play well. We play well. We make two bad passes. Not the problem. Not the problem. We play well. Go, nice. Come on, go, guys. Go, guys. Go, guys. Nice. Team! Bolero! Dale, 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 dale. Let's go, ladies! You can see the emotions. Naz there on your screens. Coach Terzic trying to scream out instructions. Slotches, all business. Going to the left hand there with success. Arlova just uh, hanging in the air. Jen had passed her already, was able to stay up in the air high enough, get her left hand up and dink it down. Rabadzieva has been one of the better servers here in this match. Poor offensive there. Mariana Costa finding the angle. Excellent uh, cut shot, but really a cut shot. She just went angle. over the net, but gladly take that. Yeah, I don't know if we can sympathize or empathize with the, these players. Was it high enough? Because, you know, we'll never get to that height. 
the, the action happening. You know, these are tall players, and the action is happening right, you know, at the peak of their jump. Gets through. Boss has got two points in the match. Replacing a six foot four Mamadova. But you know that uh, Mariana Costa's got some hops and she's got a rocket of an arm as well. Challenging the block here, no deception. One time member of the Brazilian national team, Mariana Costa. Now Erlova. Nice pancake. Mariana tries to find a seam. That is set down there by Milena. Milena Rasik, uh, her tempo is perfect on the money. Pulled Mariana Costa. Mariana Costa jumping with the setter virtually, giving uh, Milena Rasik a free swing. Ultra fast mic presented to you by PLDD Homo Terra, Plan 699. Ang pinang yung internet na pampamilya. A nice serve there from Naz Akio, the setter. But uh, Olesia Rakluk just says, uh, I'll just put an end to that. Serving now, Rakluk after scoring that last point. That's long. That's the second uh, service error. You gotta stay with the coach, uh, just telling her, hey, stay in the game, stay in the point. That's a mental uh, mental lapse. You can see the frustration written all over the face of Coach Zoran. Joust. That's a poor decision that time. Tied at 17. Right, just uh, two teams trading punches here. Shooting. The Olympic MVP. From the back row. That's not going to go over. A little uh, execution issues here for the. Bolero Zurich camp. Coach Zoran going to probably try to settle his troops. This is their second and final time out of the second set. Four times. Attacks. Four points for Pakistan. Uh, four times, four points for them. Not even one time. Not even one. First of all, you jump one second earlier than necessary. Everybody. Stay and wait for this kind of ball. Come on, come on, come on! Take a look at this ultra fan family of the game presented to you by BLDP Homo Terra Plan 699. Abinang Abut Kaying Internet, Napam Familia. Zuting serving her team now up by one. Back set, Akin Radeo delivers. The fixed contact with the ball so high. The perfect arm swing is to complement her hops. She's not the tallest of middle blockers, but technique-wise, she's quite solid. Mariana Costa with the serve. One of the few times you've had a chance to call out the name of Slotches. She has been silenced here in the second set. Yeah, the passing of the uh, back in bank hasn't been uh, as solid as needed. You really need to pass the ball more often to get that uh, opposite hitter of theirs involved. One of the keys to their offense. Akinadeva denied. Gosnik Hirdar just 
denying access to their court for King Madero. Beautiful block kill. She is their team captain. And she always comes in at critical stages. Came up with a huge block that time. Yeah, change setter here for uh, Valero Zurich. Zivkovic uh, going to take over the setting duties. That's long. Still, you know, can't emphasize it enough that the serving has to be so offensive because you really don't want to be at the mercy of what play call is done on the other side. For Luca, good serve. <laughs> Not able to handle that big though. Slotches again, delivers. Yep, uh, going through Rabatieva, the shorter blocker. That's why she cut it down the line. Oh, there's a giant gap, but you know, gave her all of that line shot. King Rodeo unable to handle it. Delivery that time. They needed that point badly from Rabadzieva. Yeah, the wing blocker kind of committed on the kind of late to the triple block, giving just a little space. Rabadzieva able to find it. Nice serve there from Boyana. And now we're tied at 21 apiece. Brianna Zivkovic serving again. Yes, Eder is, uh, is down, so it gives them three spikers. Violation's gonna be called. I'm not quite sure if that's reviewable, though. They're saying that went past the antenna. Oh, we've got a challenge here. Coach Guidetti, not a happy man, as you can see there on your screens. His team already down one set. See what the Hawkeye system tells us. Critical stage here for both these squads. Crucial, especially here for Coach Guidetti and his squad. It'll be interesting to see just what Hawkeye tells us. Challenge is not going to go the way of back in bank. And Bolero takes a one slim point. There's a shot of our first referee. They say point goes to Bolero, and they're up by one. Okay, we're waiting for the table officials to raise their hands like this, saying all is good. All is right in the world. And second referee has to signal the first referee that all is right and good in the world and we can play on. Here comes that signal. Serving again is Boyana. Not a good serve. Zoo from the back row, dug by Popovic. Quick play going cross court. That looks like it's out.
They're saying he touched the shoulder or the arm of one of the players from Bolero. They can challenge if they want. But a timeout will be called by Coach Guidetti. For this match, the Serbia referee. Great choice. Great choice. Coach Guidetti is not, uh, not a happy camper. Naz, Akindra Demo there on your screens. Everybody knows this is a match that they want and need to get. One of the few smiles we see there from Slotches earlier. Boyana getting ready to serve. She will do the chores once again. Let me get back to live action. Cross-court with success. That cuts the lead down to just one. You see the coach of Valera Zurich saying, hey, the set was short. Don't plant outside. Come in and you gotta take that one step to your left and contain the ball. I mean, it has to be between the two blockers. They have to be elbow to elbow if you want to read what the book says. Team captain Kirdar with the serve. Popovic with the pass. Boy, talk about just hammering it down. That's exactly what happened there for Raidio. Set point once again for Bolero Zurich. That's a fantastic, just a technically beautiful swing. Going almost straight down because they gave her angle. Back set works. One of the few times you've had the name you had to call out the name of Osge. But it's still set point, Volero. Big play! But the defense was expecting that one all the way. Yeah, the set a little low, I, in my opinion. I mean, for Orlova, her hand not fully extended. Lena Razik, you know, not a short player by her own right, but it's got to be a little bit uh, higher. You got to let the hitter extend their arm so they can high wrist snap. We're tied at 24. We've got an extended second set. That's easily set down. Mariana Costa initially denied. Set point number three for Bolero. Ekaterina Arlova there to serve for uh, Bolero Zurich. See if they can put this game away or this set. Back set. Nice dig there. Great defense being shown by both squads. Zhu, Doug, no! Well, Zhu, I don't know where she found that uh, space to go through. She did it, she put some, some uh, mustard on it. And we are tied at 25. Set long, I think. No, it's down. Akira Dewo, they he just have to react to her. Oh, they have to give her, you know, the respect. But Mariana Costa, in fairness to her, she didn't want to hit down. She hit long. I mean, that was a that was a purposeful shot. Zhu runs out of space, and that is the second set going here. To Valera Zurich, unless there's a challenge.
Might as well make the challenge here. You can't take that challenge over to the third set. Yeah, no carryover system. You know, get two challenges a set. It's out. And officially now, Bolero Zurich takes set number two. It's been close all throughout, but proving steadier down the stretch is Bolero Zurich. Mariana Costa there. Shooting. Going to the side. It is a nip and tuck second set. Some of the action being witnessed here by a great size crowd at the Mall of Asia Arena in Manila, Philippines. As we take a look at the numbers, Bolero Zurich taking the second set. Aces even, attacks three more for Bolero. That essentially was the turning point. It has been a really competitive match. But Bolero taking the first two sets. See some of the stats here. You know, just better execution. You know, extended sets like that. Stat lines are pretty even. Coach Guidetti always mapping out who to attack. They attack Mariana Costa. But Mariana and company says, come at me all day. That's right, uh, Mariana Costa answering the call. You know, substitutes for all you uh, second stringers out there. You gotta wait and be patient and stay ready because when you get the call, it's either you perform or you're back on the bench. Rabadzieva with a serve. She sends that one long. Mariana Costa has actually been playing very well. That their team captain, Mamadova, has been kept on the bench here. Yeah, she's been effective. Uh, obviously, that rocket of an arm, uh, quite the asset. A little more solid uh, for floor defense. Osge. They go to Shu. She's dug. And cross court with success. No. They say it's out, but. Challenge is coming up. But Zoran thinks that went in. Let's see what Hawkeye says. That's just out. Okay, we have to uh, understand, you know, some of the missed calls because of the speed of the ball. Not as easy as it uh, as it looks, being a lines person. Especially a cut shot like that with so much power. That one went cross court. Linesman had no chance to be able to take a look at it. Milena there and Zhu conspiring for that block. The block went out though. And that's why we're tied at two.
Oh, nice serve. Gizem couldn't get to it. She got to it, but just not enough to be able to pass it properly to a teammate. Katarina Orlova, 29-year-old serving now. What an adjustment there by Zhu. I mean, to come up, you know, with that kind of angle and put that much heat on the ball, you know, your technique has to be really, really solid. Well, the fast break presented to you by PLDT Home Altera 699 and Pinakabot Kang Internet na Pampamilya. Hey, defensively, uh, back and back, out of pose there. You see uh, Gazde saying, okay, my bad, I, I didn't face the hitter. She was sideways and the spike was coming, so she couldn't get a good read on the ball. Rick Liuk serving. Just so much power behind that attack from Zoo. Almost impossible to control. Yeah, well, especially if you're Mariana Costa going up against the taller uh, Zhu Ting. Zhu just uh, taking advantage of the smaller blocker. Another good serve. Mariana goes cross court. She's done. Zhu from the back row. Uh, Zhu finding uh, gaps in the block now. Really good pick from the libero of uh, Bakif Bank. Getting out of the shadow of the block. Ultra fast strike presented to you by PLDT Home Altera. Plan 699. Apinang abot kaing internet na pampamilya. Zoom with the serve. Akinra Dewa denied. Four touches, they say. Is that reviewable, though? Yes, it is. Challenge here. This is going to be the second challenge. Coach Zoran already lost one. Stage back and back up by two. Akira Dewa there. But it went off the finger. But again, did you see through that Hawkeye system? Just almost impossible to see with the naked eye, just coming off a fraction of the finger. Well, the bottom line and the most important thing is you get the ball right. Serve once again by Zhu. We'll do this all over again. Akim Nadewa stopped. Will that get over? Yes, it will. But it's set down. Is it in? Baki Pan says yes. Bolero says no. And we go back to another challenge, but that was right in front of our first referee, and he himself said it's down. Let's see. The action happening so fast, it's hard to get the calls right, but the important th thing about all this technology is to get the call right. You can see the speed of that call. And our first referee was all over that. He saw it with the naked eye, and he made that call. And the call sticks. Yellow card given to the Bakif Bank uh, coach there for excessive, uh, you know, you can't be that vocal. According That's to the great uh, announcer, uh, Paul Sunderland, yellow card means shut up. That's Coach Gidetti. They 
say it's in. Ju just cranking those serves. She's coming so, so far up. Her load serve is actually on its way down, has a downward trajectory. We'll get to watch it again. That time it's long. Mariana Costa on the other side. Almost a perfect pass there from Zhu. But not a good connection offensively. Yeah, the, uh, the pass, you know, had a little speed to it, but it kind of made uh, Milena Razic uh, a little late. So uh, now Zatio decided to set the ball a little higher, but there's still a disconnect. Mariana Costa with an ace. Her stellar players kept their team captain on the bench. And reception woes here for Rakif Bank, giving those two points right back. After uh, Zhu Ting with those tough serves. Well, they had some daylight earlier. Cross court works. They needed that from their team captain. Because they're here, they're just putting that ball, beautiful swing to the angle. Popovic uh, caught in between. Milena now with the serve. <laughs> Chance here. Miss Q again on the uh, transition offense. They're made to pay. Just too many mistakes coming up from back to back here today. Okay, if there's a you know miscue between the the pipe set and the center, you, you have to go to the outlet hitter. Uh, here, there goes is right on the outside. Retired eight. Luca Akin Radevo. Slotcha says it's about time you call my name. It's a good matchup between her and uh, Rabatieva. So Slotches is uh, definitely the taller player. Loneki now with the serve. Okay, both squads here with the setter at the front row. We're tied once again at nine. A good pass from Zhu. Cross court. Yes! That cross court has worked wonders here for Vakit Bank. And you know, you know, Gustav took a little off and used a heavy wrist shot. He was going for placement. Smart hitting there from the, the cap from the captain. Now with the serving chores. They're blocking up front. Violation will be called. It's now going to be a two-point advantage here for Istanbul. Kiridar again with the serve. that with Zhu Ting at the net. Zhu Ting making no mistake there. No arm swing, just snapping that wrist down. The lead is ballooned to three once again. Hence, a timeout. Also, coach Zoran.
Not you start. You, you didn't start to think. Second, uh, not second, first, fourth, I don't know, middle blocker coming up. Zona on zona. Tempo, Dobby on tempo. And she received one ball in five sets. One ball. Hello. Yes, but don't do without look. Hello. Look at the emotion there, written all over the face of Zhu. Akin Radevo saying, you gotta come to me a little bit more in. One of the loveliest of faces there in Mariana Costa. She has really had stellar play here as well. Naz looking up saying, we need to get a break here and there. Right now they're up by three. Question is, can they hang on? So far, so good. They're now up by four. Yeah, that's good nerd, just uh, denying right look. Good hand placement and hand angle. Yeah, Zivkovic again, uh, the backup seller. Give Fabiola a little break. Just then uh, Kirdar just uh, still serving here. Big play. Nice up there from the captain. Likewise there from Popovic. Cross court. Gizem was there, just couldn't control it. A lot of heat there from right look there from the uh, from the left side this time. Kimberly Hill has been kept here in the oven. Not a good chance to really come up with anything. <laughs> Which is quite surprising. She is one of their top guns. But the nice thing is, you know, if we could uh, see a little bit of that point again, you see uh, Naz Akio talking to uh, Slotis. The entire, the entire play was for her. They were just talking of location where the set was going. <laughs> Triple block there from uh, Bakif Bank Istanbul. Just nowhere to go for uh, Mariana Acosta. She tried to put as much mustard on it as she could, but uh, the block is better, sending that ball back. This give is now the biggest lead here. Yeah, give kudos there to Bakif Bank. Uh, not taking any defense for granted, making sure of their block. Oh, nice up there from Slouches. Zoom will deliver another point. It's going high hands there. He hugs all around, uh, well deserved. Naz Akio now running a really good uh, offense because they're passing the ball, giving her a chance to set run her offense. It's Valero Zurich now that's uh, failing to execute their plays. On the outside, yes! <laughs> it has been working. We're back in bank here in the third. Final time out going to be called here by Bolero. They're on the ropes here in the third. Down by seven. And not the middle block. Why you start to play like this? It's enough to zero. Still some smiles on the faces of the ladies from Bolero. They know they can still come back. Right now. Istanbul looking a little bit more menacing than they did in the first two sets. 
Oske, good serve. Mariana had to reset. Mariana again. Twice she's been denied. They go to the other side. And it finally works. Badly needed point there by Bolero. Yeah, but the bucket fans got a good cushion, you know. They might be content to trade blows here, but they'd be uh, they'd be better served if they made more distance, put more pressure on them. Watches denied. They look for her once again. That's kept alive. Finally, Aquino Devo says, I need to come to the forefront of our attack. Yeah, she really a good hand placement, just you know, took the angle away. When your middle blocker does that, it allows the defense to adjust to you. Look at her waving. Taking that shot away. They've cut the lead. Down to five. Going down the line, it's back up to six. You know, a lot of volleyball fans just don't realize the degree of difficulty of that set. It was off the net. She was setting at an angle. Put it right on the money. And then Arasic just cashing it in. It's going to be a gift for Milena. Christmas came early. Okay, now three spikers uh, up front for Bakif Bank. Slotches in Zhu Ting. Pick your poison, who's going to do the killing? Transition game. That goes over. Oh, chance ball here for Rakif Bank. That's off the antenna. Will there be a challenge? Yes, there will. That looked like, from our angle at least, it did hit the antenna. But did it hit the antenna off the block? Or straight from the attack of Zoo? Yeah. Yeah, trip the antenna. That's wow, feather touch. I saw the antenna move. So that should be point bolero. Coach Kidetti was looking up, but he actually he looked up. When he looked up, the replay was over. But he lost the challenge. Slotch is dug by Popovich. Check that, that's Karadai. And that's going to give Kimberly a chance to check in now with her team up by six. And yeah, this is more of a going to give a you think a little break here, playing defense in the back row. Got to save her for the tougher sets ahead. Should uh, Vakif Bank uh, take this one? A fresh Kimberly Hill. The back row, that's out. The margin of error just really high with the swings that these ladies take. Mariana sends it over. 
Great offense and great defense so far here in the third set for back and back. And they look poised to take this set inch closer to their opponents. Let's see if they can uh, maintain the pressure. It is now 23-14. Carcass is coming in here. They're giving Rebadieva also a breather. Well, both coaches already starting to look forward to the fourth. Lot just lost sight of it. Yeah, that ball kind of stuck to the defender. Unfortunate to uh, roll off the net. Mariana Costa with the serve. Boy, here, Dar making use of every single opportunity given to her. Yeah, the set was a little low. She, she dealt with it, found a way to score. Well, the team captain has not just been leading vocally, but also with her actions. Akin Radewo. Well, when they can run that play and be it's put right in the wheelhouse of uh, Poluca, she can really put that ball down because she's so high up there. Excellent technique. Makes you wonder why they don't try to go to her a little bit more. Well, if they can pass a little steadier, they can run the middle. How well they did well to keep that in play. That's out. And only two set points needed here by Istanbul to draw to within one. There's a dominating performance by Pakistan Bank here in the third. Watch it here once again, that final point going just wide. Third set going to Vakit Bank, Istanbul, with a score of Vakif Bank, Istanbul. Now starting to flex their muscles. Coming up with a much better third set. Yeah, the transition game of uh, Vakif Bank uh, a little more steady because their ground game really giving them multiple attack opportunities a lot more than uh, Muller Zurich could muster. Just better execution there for Vakif Bank in this set. Well, it turns out to be a blip on the radar for Bolero Zurich in the third set. Let's see what happens in the fourth. But before that, let's take a look at the numbers. Yeah, 14 more attacks. It's telling you the transition game is a little better for back if back Istanbul in this set. You know, look, how, look at the error, 6-2 Bolero Zurich with, a, with not as clean a defense. Everything else pretty much evened out. 
you know, two more aces, one more block here and there, but the four unforced errors spelled the big difference and four more attacks, that's an eight point uh, deficit right there. being hit by a typhoon at the moment. But a lot of the fans have braved the storm to make their way here to the Mall of Asia Arena. Just to show you that here in uh, the Philippines, there is a love of the game. Well, no question about that. And these players have been mobbed all throughout, wherever they go the malls, at the venue, the playing venue, at the hotel. <laughs> and just about everywhere they go. Yeah, they're, you know, the nice thing about these players is they're very accommodating to the fans. No matter what part of the world they, they go to. You see a court set underway. Marion Acosta already going on her second serve as Valero leads 1-0. Uh, Coach Zoran Teresic has stayed here with Mariana Acosta in lieu of their team captain, Mamadova. That's smart hitting from Slojus because Rabazieva is the shorter blocker. And she had a better angle wristing away going towards zone five. Cross court with success is Rabadieva. And they, they really gave her the angle. Surprised uh, the Libero didn't slide out. Maybe she wasn't uh, prepared for the triple block because she wasn't the shadow of the block, so she couldn't see the ball coming. Looking at this team from Bolero, it looks like they've got a little bit more zip here in their step in set number four. That's a poor reception that time from Zoo. As you think, I mean, our Rocky Bank uh, has got to play a little better. You know, they can't let uh, Valer Zurich get a lead because we've seen Valer Zurich and they know how to protect the lead. Well, they're a team with championship tradition. They know what to do when they're ahead. Zoo slowed down there. Free ball here for Rocky Bank. Quick play. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. Just you know, being effective is uh, Mariana Rasik. Not even cranking the ball. Look at this high wrist snap. That's all she does. Snap. Okay, for all you uh, wanna be middle hitters out there, you gotta start there. And believe me, the power will come after that. Naz serving. You gotta get the technique first. Quick play. Oh, nice up there. Boy, the floor defense of both these teams has been excellent. Yeah, that's a better uh, placement for the Libero. Fantastic rally there. Karadai has been all over the place. Just couldn't control it that time. Yeah, we're tied now at 3 all. Going to be a nip and tuck affair from the way things are shaping up. Not do that when Zhu Ting is right there lurking in the vicinity. And better hand placement. Look at the hands already to invade the space. Nas with another good serve. Oh! <laughs> cross court not going to work. Yeah, a little. Uh, Made on the wrist snap, as you can see, the ball kind of tailed out, meaning she didn't get the top spin on it. Four straight points put together here by Istanbul. <laughs> a 
by Gibba tonight again. Marcases comes in much earlier this time. But Zeva now will take a seat for a chance to uh, regroup. In the back row. The angles that these young women can come up with because of their height and technique. Right look just using all six foot four of her with the wrist snap cutting away. Speaking of wristing away, and then erratic, you know, not cranking the ball, no exceptional power, but making good contact with the ball, wristing away, finding the open court. The lead for Istanbul is now at three. Riley up there. Gets them closer. Carcasses. Getting ready to serve us and take a look at that last piece of action. Slot is just a little tad too late. He didn't sweep. Look at that serve from Carcasses. Quickly, they got the other side. Slotches denied. Going down the line, it works. Yeah, the success of Bucky uh, Bang has been the off-speed shot. Zoran Teresic, their coach, starting to pray. Bolera Zuric was very, very impressive in the first two sets. Finally, they say they get one. The green ladies there, ready for that block. Yeah, shooting, hitting right into the meat of the block. In the triple block, you gotta go angle. You can't go in between, you gotta attack. If you can't see a seam, you have to attack the outside blockers. Six serving eight. Nice up there from Carcasses. Mariana just sends it over. Just too much power from Zuti. Fantastic tempo out of the back row. He he's screaming, liking what he's seeing so far. Yeah, I don't know if you can call this a 22 set. It looks like an 11, you know, it's almost like a one tempo from the back row. You know, the number just dictates how high the ball is, one, two, three, four. Riley. He's been silenced, the violation's gonna be called here. Yeah, Naza caught the, with the setter uh, double touch. Trying to give her a quick attacker time to get there. So she kind of squeezed the ball just a little bit. Ryliuk here with the serve. We have not seen really too much of Akindra Deo being utilized by the offense. Well, they need to pass just a little bit better because without the pass, you, know, you can't run the middle. Sky ball here from back if back. Oh, That's a poor pass. Yep. Inducing a, a free ball from a free ball. Cardinal sin. Back if back says, you don't want to take the point? We'll gladly grab it. Buffy reception error. Uncharacteristic. Yeah, net infraction there from uh, Mariana Acosta.
Girdar, the captain, has been utilized in the third and in the fourth. And it's worked wonders for Vakif Bank. Costa denied. They go right back to her, but she sends it just over. Another free ball. Nice pancake from Karkasis. Costa goes long. Too long. Well, the lead is now four. Bernero Zurich having some uh, execution I issues. Popovic back in as a libero. See if that improves the floor defense. Popovic tends to rest. Oh, that pass uh, is not going to help their cause. Another free ball. They've for given up so many here already. Oh, miscue. Fortunate for Bolero Zurich. There's a miscue. Do think they're shaking her head. Coach Gidetti, not happy with what he saw in that last sequence, but he's got to be pleased. They still have a three point edge. Mariana Costa, good serve. Quickly sent down there by Osden. Osden Nerd is the really filling out the middle uh, duties. Coming productive for her team. She's been utilized more in the third and in the fourth. And she's come up big. And that time she gets an ace. And yeah, reception will continue here for Valera Zurich. Can't mount any uh, offense without it. Let me quote uh, the PSLF2 Logistics Manila coach uh, Mauro Branislav. When I asked him, about the importance of the pass. He said, without the pass, nothing follows. Violation is going to be called there. Yeah, back row center. One of the few errors you've seen here from Boyana. like things are coming apart in the seams for Valero Zurich. Let me just correct myself. Uh, there's two consecutive net touches on uh, Boyana, not uh, overreaching. Uh, if the call was overreaching, I guess she uh, stuck her hand in the cookie jar too far. So, if we make some change, yeah, we'll stop, you will stop to play. Really, I don't care. We, we will win today or not. Really, I don't care. After those two sets, I really don't care. That was a very, very angry Zoran Terzic. Saying, well, if we're going to lose this match, I don't care. <laughs> Well, he seemed to be happy after the first two sets. They had a commanding two to nothing lead. And then suddenly, this is not the same team that he saw in those first two sets. Yeah, execution-wise, they're starting to kind of go by the wayside. Their defense is, you know, not popping that ball up. Uh, Boyana's not being afforded the opportunity to run an offense because their transition game has to be the wings. No middle attack, there we go. Right on cue. Snuffed out there by uh, Rocket Man. That one went through the block. Straight to the face of Fuluka. One of the uh, penalties for being so tall and uh, having the hop to get up there, you gotta you expose your face to the uh, attacker. Osge serving again. Another free ball to back at bank. They make 
to be yet again. Yeah, Bucket Bank running away with this one. Boy, they're up by 10. It's a double digits. So Valera Zurich uh, failing to execute on their game plan. Probably hoping uh, Asga gets tired. Here, another transition opportunity here. Two, dug there by Popovic. Barcasis, that's kept alive. Zoo again. The lead is at 11. This has been like night and day. Look at her going over everybody. Because the, Phil the volleyball fans were thinking, why did uh, Mariana Acosta get that? Because she saw that her teammate touched the ball. And again, Zhu. She's the Great Wall of China all by her lonesome. She, she seems like it. I'm sure Valer Zurich is looking at her in, in the same way. No timeout going to be called here by Coach Zoran. He's going to let his players try to figure it out. But look at their denied. And again with a point is the scoring machine, Zhu Ting. Yeah, Zhu Ting just uh, getting isolated. And Akiran Deo just went over her. Oski has been serving there for quite a while. Barcaces. She's done. Finally, Akira Deo says, we've got a point coming our way. Yeah, Paluka finally you know, trying to get the Valero Zurich out of this funk that they're in. Talk about a scoring drought. But Kirdar looks at her teammates with a smile and says, we'll give them that point. We're up by a mountain. Casas goes to the side and she's done. Nothing has happened offensively here for Volero. Nice adjustment trying to be made there by Zhu Ting, but she was in the space of the first referee. Yep. A little too far to go. The look on uh, Akin Madeo's face is like, this ain't over. Well, it's possible, but highly improbable. Lead is back up to 12. Back in bank, three points away from tying things up at two sets apiece. Pass is not a good pass, gets it back. That's sent long, but there's a touch. Carcass is just finding the floor there in deep corner zone five. Nothing to lose, swing away. At this stage, why not? They're trying to look for some momentum that they can try to take with them into that fifth set. Well, finally, uh, the middles of uh, Valera Zurich able to thwart Milena Rasik in her middle attack. Ekaterina Orlova getting in on the block action. That's not going to help. That's going to bring us to set point. Yeah, with this kind of lead, errors like that just get magnified. Two points away from tying things up. It's 23 12, our tally. Zhu Ting was looking for another race. Nice dig there from Gazem. Things are 
coming apart at the seams right now. For Valera Zurich. It's kind of weird that uh, anybody but uh, the setter should have passed that ball. Coach Zora not even using his final timeout. He's just letting his players play this one out. Mariana couldn't get to it. Ace to finish things off. It was a dominating fourth set. Back to back, taking this one 25 12. It was a dominating fourth set by back to back Istanbul, and they tie things up at two sets apiece. That's right, you know, the execution of uh, back to back has gone to another level, and the execution of Bolero Zurich is non existent uh, for the most part with that kind of scoreline. That just means that back to back did everything right, and Bolero uh, Zurich could do nothing right. We're going to show you the numbers in just a little bit. And obviously, looking forward to dominating figures in favor of Bakit Bank. Yep, smiles all around, uh, rightfully so. 25 to 12, if I'm not mistaken, that's the biggest deficit uh, thus far in the tournament. As you see, look at that, 12 attacks to five. You know who's executing their uh, plays a lot more. Look at the uh, unforced errors as well. That just contributes to the uh, or fuel to the fire. Creating that distance between uh, the teams, 25 to 12, if uh, you guys just tuned in. The score line of the uh, fourth set. Yeah, Valer Zurich could do nothing right in that set. Hopefully they can get it together, make it at least more competitive. Because the fifth set, you know, you take away all those famous names and famous players, you take that all out. What a fifth set is, it's just uh, who will commit less errors because we're only up to 15. The only lull in the action are the timeouts or the change court at eight. Fifth set coming up. Both coaches sticking with what they feel are their winning combinations. Mamadova still on the bench. Mariana Costa still starting here. Popovic will start at the libero position. On the other side, they've had Gazem all throughout. Race to 15. It's a good start for Bolero. The early success right away. You gotta, you gotta cash in on it and build your momentum. Getting a three, four point lead here in the fifth set is quite golden. Zoo, dot by Popovic. Stays inside. Mariana was thinking of getting it, let it drop, and she paid. Yeah, you're not supposed to watch the ball go out. You're supposed to uh, bring the ball out, meaning you know go to the ball. 
so you can get a better uh, estimate on it if it's going out or in. Quick play. And again, they go for the girl that almost always delivers. Zhu Ting. Zhu Ting showing why she's MVP of the Olympics. Making mincemeat of the block, Just going through Rabadieva, or no, I'm sorry, going through Orlova. Going through the taller blocker, finding that gap between the hands. Another good serve from Mosge. Really up scores. Just finding that empty zone five, nobody in the backfield for, uh, or in the back row. We're tied at two. We're back in bank. Open court. <laughs> Zhu Ting. Mariana was there, but second servings. Works well. She's a machine. Yeah, Orlova helpless there. No uh, support from the other blocker. Fortunately, right look uh, ready post to hit. Not taking care of the net first. <laughs> Violation's gonna be called. Slot just doesn't like it. Very uh, strict uh, first referee, not taking any, uh, not taking any uh, chattering from the the players. Well, we're going to go to a challenge. Coach Gidetti not happy. He's been screaming at the officials all throughout. That's why he's got a yellow already. Uh, you remember the press con when he said, what do you think about the technological advances? He said, yeah, now I can fight with the tablet. I don't have to fight with the referee. But uh, he's not holding up his side of the bargain. Let's see if technology will help him out in this instance. Okay, in fairness to the uh, first referee, you know, he has to call it in real time. Against all errors. Everybody curious to see what Hawkeye will tell us. Coach Zoran there on your screens, facing. Coach Gidetti wondering, will I get the call? I don't know how you're gonna overturn uh, an overreaching call. Say there was a touch. That's why it's called overreaching because, from the first referee standpoint, the setter was in the setting motion and you can't interfere with the set. Although it was a busted play, if the setter is still in the setting motion, you still can't interfere. Bracket Banks' argument is he was trying to attack on two. I mean, they both, both make uh, valid arguments, but the first referee's call is the one that will prevail. That means we are tied at three. Or Lova now with the serve. Zoo. First time it sounded like a broken record here. A good uh, side out machine here in Ju uh, Ting. And then remember that other set, she ran a string of uh, tough serves, a couple of aces. Let's see how she delivers here. That time she sends it long, we're tied at four. He 
have really yet to see the dominating for Luca Akinradeo as Raleigh comes up with a serve. That one is out as well. No challenge here from uh, Ulera Zurich. Maybe they saw something our officials didn't because that was actually a float serve. And remember the ruling, any part of the ball can touch. When the ball lands on the ground, it expands. So maybe upon the expansion, it touched the line. We shall see. This doesn't look like, oh, as you said, it expanded. Wow. That was by the slimmest of margins. And that's where uh, the replay is beneficial because you need to get the call right. Nice dig. <laughs> Elena has been silent. Popovich on the ground. I hope uh, she's fine. See if you can catch what transpired there. A collision between uh, up to here, right look and uh, Popovich. The cost of, uh, oh, she lost her balance. And her momentum, a uh, little wayward elbow in the gut. That's going to knock the wind out of you, but just for a while. She's a warrior. Oh, you know she doesn't want to come out of the game. <laughs> Tied at five. A lot of times, the service gone to Mariana Costa. She made them pay that time with a good reception and with that kill. Yeah, Milena Razik in the back row doing the cardinal sin of uh, kneeling first. Really limits your range. I'm sorry that the. Uh, Costa just putting that ball where uh, Milena Rasi couldn't reach it. <laughs> Slot just delivers. We're tied at six. Just throwing that ball at the block and uh, sailing it out. Kimberly Hill comes in. has been used sparingly in the last two sets. Yeah, she had a uh, started out really passing the ball solidly, then a couple of shank passes. She now comes in to replace Slotches. Akinradeo dug. Akinradeo with the block. Nice cross court, nice up. Popovich and Gizem have done a fantastic job for the respective teams. Zuting done by Popovich. Over in two. Point for Bolero. Heads up play there from uh, Fabiola. Seeing the defense, waiting for her set. Goes over on two. Good disguise. Luca now serving her team up by one. Yeah! And now her team tied with her opponent at seven. Okay, in, uh, in US volleyball, there's a push to get the eight first. Not for anything else, but statistically, the first one to get the eight usually wins the game. So you're just stacking the odds in your favor. deliver a point off that block. Fortunate turn of event as we're going to change court here.
All together and company. Like where they're at, they're just down by one. But on the other side, Bolero's gotta be pleased now. This is a much better showing than what they did in the fourth. Yeah, they, the execution now, you know, fortunately for Bolero Zurich that it's in the fifth set, so, you know, you can forget the fourth. But the execution side of both uh, teams, pretty even. As you can tell by the scoreline, they're just uh, trading punches. That stays inside. Yeah, nobody pulled on that play. Orlova and uh, Ragnarok just lying in wait. Good scouting from uh, the coaching staff, knowing the tendencies of uh, Ju. Look at the short set. They've contained her already. Nowhere to go for Ju Ting. Another good serve. Zeus says, come my way again. Fantastic swing, just challenging the block. Good front line here. You know, Naz Akio there looking short, but she is six foot one. Oske, good serve. Riley will deliver again. Lead back up to two. Yeah, both main weapons of uh, each team. Doing, uh, living up to their billing. Naz calling out the play. Serve here from Ramadzieva goes long. Okay, look at the front line. Kimberly Hill now asking where she's going to go because she is an outside. Uh, she's going to play opposite. Good up there from uh, Hill. She just barely got to that, but again, against three. Still getting it through his zoo. Okay, for all you outside hitters, I mean, students of the game, what happened there is you think was going to challenge the block, but she did not hit straight. She always puts an angle. If you get blocked, you get blocked, but you challenge the block, you put an angle on it, maybe the deflection will go in your favor. We go outside, Costa denied, and we are tied. Check that, back it back now, with a one-point lead. Timeout coming from Bolero. Excellent block, the set was pretty low. I mean, the blockers of uh, Vakip Bank outside are quite tall. I mean, Kimberly Hill, good 6'3", 6'4". running through all the players here. They know this is now a very important stage of the match. <laughs> Bam! Riley up there. Gonna be, you know, like putting two boxers in a phone booth, just trading punches. First guy to say, I was gonna lose. Our first girl to say I was going to lose. It is now 11 apiece. Remember, this is a race to 15 in the fifth. Bang! Nice up. Chance once again. Naz goes right back to Zoo. She's dug again. On the back row. Now for Bolero Zurich. Who's gonna, gonna blink? Gonna boil down to execution. 
Watch it there once again from the back row. Big point there from Rabatzieva, and she knows it. now on the edge of their seats for this thrilling end game between Bolero and Zurich and Istanbul squad. Yeah, Mamadou now back in for blocking duties and, you know, to add more height to that front line. Kimberly was cross court. What a cut shot from Kimberly Hill coming up with that angle going just away from the block. Excellent execution. Jutin with the serve. Let's see how she kept it in this time. It is now 13, 12, back in bank. Really pointing down to who does the little thing. This has got to be one of the more exciting matches we've witnessed here in the FIVB Women's Club World Championship for 2016. And the best is still yet to come in the next couple of days. That's right. We, we're we not done here, but it sure seems like a championship match. Chance here to get to match point. <laughs> and it's match point. Back in back, Istanbul. Solid blocking on the side of uh, back it Bank. But the thing is, Bolero Zurich can't pass the ball effectively so they can run. You take Akin Radero out of your equation, and then you can plant on the outside hitters. Final timeout here of the match for Bolero Zurich. Point, match point here for Vakit Bank, Istanbul. Zoo with a serve. It's kept in play. Mariana Costa scores. And Bolero still alive. Riley up with the serve. Slotches comes right back in. And a timeout will be called by Vaki Bank. Their final timeout of the match as well. Okay. And all get take. Service, send out, fight. Okay, service, out, fight. Okay, fight.
There is Slot just back in action. It's still match point for back in back Istanbul serving Riley Ok. Gets it over. Goes to the team captain. Goes wide. We've got an extended fifth set. Who wants it more? Yeah, like I, like I said earlier, it really boils down to who can execute better and doing the little thing. Akin Radewo. They're arguing since the ball was below the wide of the cane or at the wide of the cane with no chance to go over. If it was an overreaching ball, but with the forward momentum of the ball, it's still considered an attack, so it wasn't called. It is now match point, Volero. Mariana Costa was there. She sends it down. And Volero, Zurich takes this one. You can say they stole this one. Back in back, thought they were on the verge of taking this particular match. But in the end, 